Good morning and happy Thursday, everybody. This is Mornings with Michael in San Francisco Bay Area. This meeting is for information and educational purposes only. So let's get to start here. This is um, the S&P 500 heat map. It's a bit mixed, we got a little red circulating with the green. Uh, I got some news on Amazon and Shopify that we'll get to in the news portion. And um, Salesforce is up big. Some of the other software names are up. So we get a kind of a mixed bag here. So that's the S&P 500. Um, I'm not sure if I was sharing the screen, so I apologize. Let me share the screen here. Here's the S&P 500 blotter heat map, what have you. And before we forget, let's share our screen. So we can look at um, some of the information. On the inflation front, PCE was up 0.2% in July, 3.3% uh, up year over year, up 3% in June. But this is the lowest since uh, March of 2021, which is good news. Core inflation is up 0.2% in July, 4.2% for the year as meeting expectations. Income for the month of July was up 0.2% and joblessness fell 228,000 from 232,000, uh, 10,000 10, um, um, short of what estimates were. Uh, on the downside, savings rates continue to fall. So this is a worrying sign for some of our economists. And um, we're looking at super microcomputer right here, right now. It continues to shine. Um, a lot of um, professional money managers seem to be buying the dip over here. So it keeps showing up on the screens day after day. It's on the screens again today, but let's go to the news. Changes to um, Amazon. So Amazon announced that its buy with Prime app would begin integration with Shopify. As we can see, um, Amazon is up strong on the news. The uh, volume doesn't really show it, but it is um, on being bought by professional money managers. And we can take a look at Shopify as well. Sure, why this is not uh, working with us. So we're back on the show. We'll see if uh, this doesn't work. Now, this is Shopify. As you can see, it's up big on the news and volume is pretty strong. So, a lot of professional money managers buying the Shopify angle here. And um, the buy with Prime App would um, work with Shopify's checkout resource and allow Prime members the option to use the app before completing the transaction in the checkout. Um, so now we got uh, Chewy. In our pet section, Chewy. Um, EPS 15 cents versus a negative five cents. Um, it's down um, close to 12% today. So I guess they were looking for a lot more. Um, and we got Costco. 
reports August comps at plus 3.4%. Um, Costco is bouncing here. Uh, not a whole lot of volume. So we'll continue to watch this one. Five below, quarter two EPS, 84 cents versus estimate 83 cents. And that's not what people are looking for. So it's down 5.2%. Cormel Foods, HRL, quarter three adjusted EPS, 40 cents versus 41 cents. And once again, this is not as what people are looking for with the uh, earnings are down 25% from last quarter at this time. Um, and Victoria's Secrets, quarter two adjusted EPS, 24 cents versus estimate 26 cents. And it was less than estimate, but I guess this was a, some sort of surprise because it is moving up quite a bit today. You can see the blue volume here. Um, and then we go to Hyatt Hotels, files the mixed shelf offering. So that is selling off with people's uh, shares being diluted. Energy, industrials, and materials. C.H. Robinson downgrade to negative from neutral from Susquehanna. And uh, people aren't thrilled with this. This is down 3.29%. RXO, which was a spinoff of GXO Shipping Company, downgraded to negative from neutral at Susquehanna. And you can see the trend continues down. Not the kind of trend you're hoping to see. Grief Incorporated adjusted EPS $1.75 versus $1.53 estimate initially sold off and you know, we get some buying um, propping up the stock so we'll see which way the cookie crumbles here so to speak titan machinery entered into a definitive um, purchase agreement to acquire jj o'connor and sons um, for 63 million in cash i guess people like this initially and now it's selling off their earnings and Came in at a plus 25%. Earnings surprise of a little over 18%. UBS um, will cut 3,000 jobs in Switzerland in the coming year as it integrates with Credit Suisse with further staff to go on their own accord. The bank CEO um, told the staff. Um, so I guess this was good news according to shareholders and earnings are up. Wow, look at that earnings surprise, 1,735% earnings surprise on a 1,000% earnings increase. $8.99 versus last year's 61 cents in the same quarter. Uh, Visa, August payments volume on year over year basis grew 7%. This is another troubling sign for the economy as credit card uh, balances are continuing to grow. Uh, Country Garden posted a net loss. Um, we do not have a ticker symbol. So we'll move on from there. Healthcare, Cooper Companies. COO, quarter three, EPS $3.35 versus estimate of $3.34 is falling slightly as not what people are looking for. Leva Nova, L-I-V-N, pretty flat. Um, gets FDA clearance for 510K clearance and CE mark for Essence in Line Blood Monitor. Philbro Animal Health, a quarter four adjusted EPS, 38 cents versus 38 cents. Falls, people are looking for a little better than that, but pretty in line. Sage Therapeutics implements strategic 
reorganization to support plans of, for Zur Zuve, commercial launch and pipeline advancement. Potential growth catalysts include plan fourth quarter 2023 launch of this same drug. And um, it's pretty flat. On to technology, media, and telecom. I'm kicking myself a little bit because I let the market shake me out of this. I had a 150 to 160 option, and um, I sold out on it. But um, quarter two adjusted EPS 74 cents versus estimate of 56 cents. Also in the same category, Okta Holdings, a big quarter two EPS, 31 cents versus 22 cents. Earnings came in at 410% of 43% earnings surprise and massive volume uh, in both of these companies. Pure storage, quarter two adjusted EPS, 34 cents versus 28 cents. Initially sold off and um, Got a lot of buying coming back into it, even though their earnings is only up 6%. That's a 23% um, earnings surprise. And Salesforce, we looked at that yesterday, um, gapping up. Uh, earnings came in at 78% increase, a 33% earnings surprise. And Viva Systems, which is Kind of the CRM for healthcare, their earnings came in at 17% and we got a huge move and a lot of buying. Uh, we had a lot of buying and selling yesterday. People weren't sure what the numbers were, I guess. And uh, here we go. ANET upgraded to buy from neutral at Citigroup, raised the target to 220. And it's gapping out of here. And finally, Palantir downgraded to underweight from equal weight at Morgan Stanley while raising the price target to nine from eight. Well, it's already at 15. So uh, I guess their thinking is going to continue to fall. So that's our news for today. We looked at some of the earnings movers in companies' stocks. Let's see if we have anything else to look at here. To we'll look at it. Encino yesterday continues up. It gapped up in the morning and sold off. Um, people were thrilled by the 325% earnings and 32% earnings surprise. Appfolio continues to get buyers, even though it's gotten a lot of sellers, it's sold off uh, from the earlier move up, just like yesterday. VMware. Um, continues to work on a base here. Uh, their earnings are expected to come out later today. And Deckers, which make the Hoka shoes, up slightly today. Lululemon, looks like a tiny consolidation. Uh, it's moving back above the 50 and 10 and 20 day moving average. Toyota Motor gapping up today. Huge volume in Toyota Motor. There's some excitement in there. Um, I believe it's a uh, 900 mile battery. People are talking about Ollie which we kind of looked a couple of days ago. This is where uh, when Target and Walmart have items that they really don't want to hold on to because they're not a lot of sales, they sell 
uh, discounted items to um, Ollie's. So their earnings came in at 205%, just a 9.6% earnings surprise. So I guess that may be why it's selling off, but we'll continue to watch this. And um, on the downside, I think this is World Wrestling. Huge sell-off, uh, down 13%. Dollar General, falling 29% earnings. Um, and a negative earnings surprise of 14%. And it's falling almost as much as that. It's down a little over 12%. We looked at Chewy earlier. We looked at five. Endeavor Group Holdings falling precipitously, eight point eight, a little over eight and a half percent. And I'll look at one final loser Globus Medical continues down. So let's take a look at a few of our trending ETFs. XLK continues to work on the right side of its base as we've got this follow through day. XLC. With the strength of Google continues to rise. Meta is kind of going sideways at the moment. We'll see if it can get above its moving averages. And take a look at uh, biotech. It's pretty flat today. Semiconductors continue to shine after the follow through day. And um, industrials seem to hang, be hanging in there. Mining and metals continues to work on the right side of its base. Building supplies continues up. Pretty odd shaped base. So we'll kind of check back on that and our home builders. Now let's, we did our routine a little backwards today, but uh, the dollar looks like it's gapping up. Today, um, a 0.43 percent. Gold is just off slightly. Silver is down a little more, 0.64 percent. And uh, our copper sold off and is trying to fight back. Southern copper looks like uh, it's holding pretty strong. FCX pretty flat today. The yields continue to drop on that good inflation news. Both the 10 and the 20 year are dropping. I would imagine the VIX is continuing to fall, which is, is doing. S&P 500, working on the right side of the base as had a breakout right over here. We'll see if it can get into this blue, blue area.
The NASDAQ continues to build on its breakout as well. And some pretty huge volume back here on the first day of the rally. And um, then here is actually back over here. It's the first day of the rally. Big move up. And then let's see how many days was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the ninth day, we have you no know, nine, ten. Looks like the eleventh day we have the breakout. And um, just continuing higher. IWM. It's finally getting above, trying to get above its 50-day uh, moving average. Finally, Dow Jones. Pretty flat, much like the industrials. And what that BLTE our shining star in biotech sold off yesterday and then on this morning it was down a little further and it has gotten support off of this 10-day moving average so people have come in and bought on the weakness we'll just kind of uh, have to wait and see what happens tomorrow our other one that we had highlighted remains pretty weak. It is bouncing a little bit. It came down to $9. And we'll just see if um, it can get above this downtrending 50-day moving average. As we highlighted before this hit an all-time high of 160 in 2020. And iron continues to um, retract. It's pulled back to its 20-day moving average um, after trying to break out. It's on low volume, so this is a positive. Um, we'll just see if... Um, if it's building a cup with a we built a handle over here, see if, if it tries another consolidation before it tries to break out and get support. But um, and then take a look at Fastly. Fastly continues to get buying, although the buying is kind of softening over here. Um, We'll just see, um, continue checking on this one and consolidated water. I've got some good support over here and now um, sold off pretty high volume yesterday. And we'll have to see what the, the numbers look here. But that's our, our look um, at Mornings with Michael for informational, educational purposes only. Hope everybody has a great Thursday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll check back with you later. Everyone have a great day.